What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Coyote Mike. Today I'm going to be bringing you a video about a uh, dash cam that I picked up. It's a dual dash cam, uh, mirror mounted dash camera. So, what it does, it takes place of my rear view mirror, being that I do have a 5% tent wrapped around the whole truck. It is kind of hard to see at night. So, uh, this dash cam, um, it's actually going to help me out whenever, uh, you know, I'm driving down the highway and whatnot. whatnot. So, uh, pick this up, and um, it's actually from Van Top. It is the H, let's see if I can find it real quick. It is the Vantop Discovery H612T. So we're gonna be installing that in the truck today and I'm gonna show you guys how exactly uh, to install it. So uh, let's get started. All right, so this is what we have right here. This is the uh, dual dash camera. It's front and rear. So it's actually gonna go right up here, right across my uh, rear view mirror. So we're going to get that installed. Um, as you can see through the back, uh, you can't really tell right now, but um, at nighttime, it really is dark and hard to see through there, uh, through the rear view mirror. So I'm going to put a camera right up in there in the middle on the inside of the cab. I'm not going to put it on the outside. I'm going to put it on the inside. So that way, um, you know, it's protected from the element and water and stuff like that. But uh, they are weatherproof and waterproof. So, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to install it on the inside of the cab and uh, trying to figure out a uh, actual mounting point and how to mount it in a bracket to get that up there. But uh, let's go ahead and unbox this. All right, so just going to unbox this real quick, take it out of the uh, wrap, see what we got. Hope you guys can see that. We've got the camera on the mount. Yes, I'm doing it on my front seat, and yes, I know my... Uh, seats are damaged i am looking to um, get the seat covers replaced i'm looking into the uh, cat skins those are pretty nice but i'm going to see exactly um, what i'm going to go with here in the future all right so it came in this nice little box right here let's see let's take it out so well packaged you can tell they're taking taking care of their uh their items in the wrapping comes very well packaged in the box nice and secure get this out the way so this is the actual new rear view mirror right here comes with this cover on the top this film pull that off once you're ready to uh, install it prevent scratching and stuff like that so what it is this is going to be your power source is going to be for your uh, SD card or your TF card this is your AVN and then, of course, it comes with GPS, too. So, the reason why I got this is because I can't see out the back at night. It's kind of hard. It comes with these little rubber grommets to attach to the back of the, uh, and back right here. So, this, these clip on right here and on to here, and it wraps around your mirror, your original mirror. So, that's pretty cool. It comes with a little plastic clip in case you got to get, um, you know, little corners off or anything like that. It's a little pry tool. So here is the uh, power cord. Uh, the way I'm going to set this up right now, I'm just going to run it into my uh, my uh, cigarette lighter, my 12 volt outlet right there, until I'm able to get a pigtail, so I can tap it into one of my fuses. And I don't like cords showing. So, and this is all the. Uh, I think this is the rear view camera. Yeah, this is the wiring for the uh, camera. That's going to be going inside of the cab facing the rear of the truck. So nice little camera. These, this is a Sony camera, so uh, the quality is supposed to be really, really great. So um, let's see what else do we got. This is your GPS. So um, it plugs into here. You just mount this on your windshield or anywhere you want to mount it. Uh, this is for your GPS. And of course, it comes with a three-sided tape adhesive and two screws. Uh, in case you didn't want to use the uh, three-sided tape, you can screw it in. But I always like to use the tape and screw it in. So it comes with two of those. Comes with this little cloth to wipe down the mirror in case it gets dirty. And of course, it's got the uh, instruction manual, the user manual. So what's cool about this is that you're able to... Uh, it's a hands-free device, so what's cool about this is that you're actually 
able to uh, talk to it. You can talk to the uh, mirror. You can turn it off, turn it on um, through a voice command. And you can also uh, tell it to do a split screen camera and it'll turn on to both screens, the front and the rear. Or you can just change it to the front and rear. So we're going to get into that here shortly, but let's start the install. Okay, so before I like to do before I do anything, I like to wire everything up because of course you want to make sure everything works before you go and you uh, permanently wire or mount this stuff where it needs to go. So we're just gonna do a little test run, make sure everything's up and running. So we're just gonna take the power, I already plugged that in. So I'm gonna plug it into this one right here. Plug that into there. I'm gonna plug up, I don't know if this rear camera's gonna work because it has to go to power. So we plug that into there. So you can see everything's pretty much working. Um, it does look a little blurry in the front because there is a lint. There is a plastic cover on this. We'll take that off. And there's still the cover on this one as well, too. So let's just go ahead and take it off. I'll just be careful. Okay, so everything's pretty much working. Like I said, I don't think this rear view mirror one's going to work because uh, it needs to have power. Or actually... No, it is working. I'll take that back. Awesome. Okay, so there we go. We're upside down. Get these cords out of the way. Yep, so this is the rear view camera right here. As you can tell, that, that picks up a pretty good wide little angle right there. So I think this is going to be perfect. And this is all touch screen, so... I'm able to touch the screen and it's going as you can tell it's the front camera and the rear camera I swipe it now that's the front camera let's go back to the rear uh, I haven't really read the instructions to this but um, about the uh, voice command front facing camera uh, yep, like I said, I haven't really figured out the voice commands. And then uh, let's get the GPS plugged in. Let's see where I put that at. It's my soda. GPS, GPS. Give me just a second. All right. Let's put it back here in the box. Yep, it is. plug in the GPS and see what that does. This is going to give you miles per hour. It's going to read out the miles per hour and it's going to let you know your location and all that other good stuff. But if I can get it inside the little chicken dairy. Okay, so GPS is now plugged in and oops, there is a power button down here in case you wanted to turn it off so that way it's just a rear view mirror. Turn it back on. So you can see right here, let's see. I need to put this SD card in. So you can see right here up in the corner, it says zero miles per hour. So that's pretty cool. But uh, everything's working. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start running these wires and get everything set up. Snug. All right, what's up, guys? I'm sorry about that, man. Uh, basically, what happened was I thought I hit record on the camera, and it turns out it wasn't recording this whole time. So basically the install is pretty simple. So this right here, this is gonna be, sorry about that. This right here is gonna be your, your rear view camera uh, port right here. So basically that's where you're gonna input the cord. So all I did was I tucked it up in through here. 
up through the top right in here tuck it in through here still have to clean up the wires you can see this wire sticking out right here dropped it in through here ran it all the way up through this weather trim all the way up you can see the cord and I still got to push it in and tuck it up inside the strip so ran it all the way up through the window sills right here and then I kind of just have the camera down here on the back seat right now until I figure out a bracket it is gonna get mounted right there in the center of the window so uh, I still got to come up with a bracket for that but nonetheless I just ran it all the way up through this window strip right here all the way through the back window strip ran it up to the front tuck it up through the window up here and then of course you got your power cord and it's plugged in right there and uh, GPS I'm just trying to figure out a place to mount that but uh, like I said again you know sorry I wasn't able to uh, record that I thought I hit the record button but I actually did it so let me clean up these wires and I'll show you guys uh, how it looks like all right guys so here we go we pretty much got it set up once again uh, just kind of going through the settings messing around with it I still got to mess with the uh, with the time and uh, the date and all that other good stuff. So uh, actually it looks like it's on point, 126, 2021. So it actually updated itself once I plugged in the GPS. So again, you got your miles per hour and uh, this is actually the rear view camera. So I mounted it right here in the back, got it up here, set up in the back. All I did was put a piece of board up underneath there and um, basically screwed it into the board through the uh, liner the headliner so uh, we got that taken care of so now uh, this thing's actually pretty cool I've been sitting in the truck messing around with it for a little bit but nonetheless man I think this is a well a well good uh, purchase for the money the quality is pretty good so what's cool about this thing is that you get all kinds of functions and uh, the voice command is what I was setting up right now I was trying to go through this voice command and figure that out so let me go ahead and show you. Show front camera. Okay. And it'll talk to you. I'm, I am going to take off that okay. voice command and all that other stuff. Uh, I really don't like that voice command where she actually talks back to you. So I'm going to be taking that off. Show rear camera. Okay. So basically what's cool about it, if that's the setting right there, so you can actually move the camera up and down okay. to get a better view. So that's probably right about where I'll keep it at. And you can see it's recording because I already installed the uh, SD card. But um, yeah, I'm still going through the settings and functions and stuff like that. So uh, show front camera. Okay. Same thing with the front camera as well too. You can basically move your camera up and down for a better view. You go higher if you want. If you want to look at the sky, that's up to you. But don't recommend it. But uh so like I said, I reinstalled the SD card. So um, basically what's cool about it is uh, you can set up motion for your camera. So basically when your car is in the uh, park position and the engine's off and all that other stuff, it does have an internal battery. So it's constantly charging all the time. So basically um, if, you, uh, if somebody walks in front of your vehicle uh, at night, it'll start recording and... Uh, which is pretty cool so uh, same thing with the reverse camera it'll start recording and then if you're in an accident you know it'll automatically pick up the collision and it'll have everything already uh, recorded for you because you got to show you know the police or anything like that so uh, pretty pretty cool neat little function so let me run through the settings real quick see if I remember how to do this nope don't want you to record stop recording great so like I said it'll show you the videos that's already recorded I do have the SD card in there already so let's just say I wanted to play this video over here this was just a second ago and it'll actually stream or play it right here on the actual uh, rear view mirror so that's pretty neat pretty good function to have in case you get in an accident and somebody starts lying or something like that well you've got the video and it also has audio too so let me figure out how to get out of here and go into the uh, settings menu. Oh, it's right there. Can't see it. So right here. So you've got everything from resolution, loop recording, time lapse, record audio, G sensor, parking guard. This is actually pretty cool right here to the parking guard. Uh, you can put in your license plate right here, your license plate number if you wanted to. Screensaver. Um,
Um, so you can add like a uh, screensaver if you want it uh, on startup. You got your video encode. Uh, the frequency, I really haven't messed with it. I got it at 60 hertz. Uh, USB mode, key voice, speaker, uh, boot sound, stream media, language, date and time. That's already all set. And then um, you've got your format for your SD card, speech recognition, version, GPS, uh, test, time zone, speed calibration. So all that stuff. Let's go ahead and do a GPS test, see where we're at. So it's giving you my latitude, longitude, all that other good stuff. So that seems to be working. So, uh, but yeah, I'm going to keep messing around with it for the next couple of days and uh, see how um, see how good it works. But other than that, the quality of the picture is pretty good. Show rear camera. Okay. So the thing is pretty quick. So let's just say I wanted to raise it up. And this is about where... I'm going to keep it right about there. But in this case, if you wanted to see if your tailgate or anything was closed, uh, you could check, you know, like I got some work stuff in the back right there. So in this case, if you wanted to check something out and make sure your tailgate's closed or check on items that you may have in the back that you're not sure about, don't want them to fly out. Uh, you could also put it on uh, both cameras. Oh, it keeps recording. Like I said, I got to figure this out. So let me see. got to go to the right okay so it'll show both cameras right here so this is the front and this is the rear um, it is picking up my other mirror right here you can see right here I was kind of blacked out right here so it's picking up my mirror in the back so I gotta move it around and adjust that but um, oh, I did it again all right so you got to swipe left instead of swiping to the right let me get out of here so you got to swipe to the right that'll show you the front camera the rear, okay. the rear camera, and both cameras. So that's pretty much about it. But uh, nonetheless, I'll bring you guys an update on this. Uh, once again, it's a, uh, it's the uh, Van Top Discovery okay. H612T. It's the dual rear view mirror mounted dash camera. So pretty good quality so far. Uh, I'm gonna wait till nighttime. I'll probably post a video, another video at night, to uh, show you guys the quality of this. But uh, nonetheless, man, uh, pretty good little camera so far. Okay. All right, so there you go, YouTube. That's uh, the uh, Van Top uh, rear view dual dash cam. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna be bringing you more videos on that as time progresses and I get used to the functions, functionality of the uh, camera. But nonetheless, it's a great little purchase. I'll put the link in the description down below so you guys can go check that out. And uh, I'm probably going to be uploading another video tonight to show you guys the uh, quality at nighttime because that's the whole main reason uh, why, you know, I purchased this uh, dual rear view mirror dash cam by uh, Vantop. So uh, it's got great reviews on it. So I figured I'd try it out. What the heck? Uh, if I don't like it, I can always send it back. But uh, hopefully it works out. I've had these mirrors in the past before. Uh, they usually don't last that long, but hopefully this one proves me otherwise. But uh, nonetheless, I just want to say thank you guys for uh, subscribing to the channel. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, got a lot more content uh, coming to the channel. Uh, like I said, just, you know, very appreciative, very humble uh, for you guys subscribing to the channel. And those of you who have been down with me since day one, uh, really appreciate it. Thanks for the love and the support. Uh, like I said already, uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to, to uh, oh, I can't get the words out. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, it's your boy Coyote Mike.